channel if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can be part of the brown family and hit the post notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video today we're eating panda express yum yum yay we decided to do a quick car bong with you guys and um i have chow mein with angus steak is that what it is yeah yeah and what do you have I have the chow mein with the orange chicken and the walnut shrimp because it was a 10 to 15 minute wait on Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> and we're hungry now. Absolutely. So, let's get to it. You wanna see Grace up here? Uh oh, he's about to go off. Okay, go ahead, see Grace. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. We ask there be a nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Of course he would wake up like right at this moment. I told you as well too. Probably because you got hot because you turned the air off. I didn't turn it off. Mm. Mm. Think he's gonna want something? Sure. Some chow mein the same. So good. Sorry guys. I look a hot mess. What's wrong, bud? You hot? Alright. Uh huh. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. We're like Panda Express is the best. Food is always the go-to to hold kids over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're definitely trying to, I guess, fatten him up now. Because I know I told you guys in the last vlog, you know. He's um a little behind on the growth chart, but that's okay. We'll we'll juice him up. Talking uh -huh. <laughs> about calories. Mm-hmm. We're here at Justin's job because he's gonna help some a residents family move. Mm -hmm. So we're just sitting here waiting for them. It was supposed to be a quick trip. But uh, they were running behind. Yeah. We weren't even gonna stop and get anything to eat, but. I was hungry. Yeah. We. Mama Bear and Papa Bear was hungry. Yeah. And JoJo, she's with her uncle and auntie and cousin. Right. Cause, so originally we weren't supposed to come over here to his job cause he, they had told him that they didn't need to move yet. And um, on the way up here to grab some stuff for our pool, they text him literally like 30 minutes after they just told him they weren't going to do it. Right. And said, oh, we're on the way. So good. So he had to stop at his brother's house to grab some clothes. <laughs> to grab clothes. I wasn't even dressed. I had flip-flops on and shorts. <laughs> Can't walk into the building as a part of the administrative team with shorts and flip-flops and one so <laughs> had to grab some stuff you'd be one of those cool admins dude it's like 100 degrees outside i got slacks on wallabies like dude i'm about to be cooking but i hope this is quick i'm just gonna have their stuff ready so when they pull up we can just roll because i'm ready to go my get, shrimp get this pool straight shrimp shrimp mm. That looks good. Can I try some? You got some on your lip. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Got it. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Want a piece of steak? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is delicious. Only one time, and then that was like the when they first brought Panda Express down here. Oh yeah, you wasn't filming. No, but they figured it out now. Mm -hmm. It's a bathroom. Mm. I've asked you and you like, oh, I don't really like Panda Express. What's that thumbnail? Um, it was a thumbnail at the beginning. Where we, uh, Did we show them our food? Showed the food. I mean, it's hard to show now. It's about empty. Mm. I 
I just hope I don't walk in here and get stopped by a whole bunch of people. That's why I try to go around back. I know, but, but I gotta stick to the protocol. I know. They're still getting their temperatures checked at the door. I mean, yeah, for sure. We have to do Life it the right way. Life is different now, guys. Yeah. It's totally different. It is crazy how every the whole world's people, the whole world's population has to change just like that. Right. That is crazy to me. Like, this is the first... Justin and I were talking about this. This is the first time, I think, in history... Pretty much. For a worldwide pandemic. I mean, not the first time in history for a worldwide pandemic, but a pandemic that has shut down everybody's economy. So there... I mean, when when's the last time you've heard of a worldwide pandemic? Uh, I guess maybe the flu, when the flu started. Well, I forgot what the last one was, but... Not the last one, but I mean the very first one. I'm going to have to look that up, guys. Because I'm curious... What was the first worldwide pandemic? I feel like it would be like the flu. Because the common cold is not deadly. But that can still be a pandemic. Anytime it's a disease, right? Siri, first worldwide pandemic. I found this on the web. Guys, that's the type of person I am. I need to know the answer right then and there. HIV AIDS, flu pandemic 1968. Asian flu, 1956 to 1958. Flu pandemic of 1918. Six cholera, cholera pandemic, 1910 to 1911. Flu again. Flu pandemic, 1889 to 1890. Third cholera pandemic, 1852 to 1860. The Black Death, 1346 to 1353. The Black Death. Plague of Justinian, Antonine Plague, 1965 AD. Antonine. 165 AD. So yeah, life has definitely changed. It's, so I guess, you know, COVID is not the first time, COVID-19 is not the first worldwide pandemic, but it has been a while. Right. Well, AIDS is still ongoing. Right. But I I don't know, is that that still a pandemic? Mm. Well, it's not out of control. Mm-hmm. So, if it's out of control... I think a pandemic requires something that does not have a cure or some kind of antibiotic. That just keeps spreading. Right. So, yeah. So At least we've gotten a little bit of hold on so HIV. HIV and AIDS yeah. is still a pandemic because there's I mean, no cure and it's still affecting everyone. Yeah. It's not like you can stop it. But I thought there is something you can take. Oh, you can take something to not spread it. I think so. So that's nice. Yeah. That's that's a step. I mean, regardless, I've never seen something where it shut down the whole economy. People don't go to work. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Like, I mean, I don't think in the history, just think about it. When has that ever happened? It's insane. It's, it's, it's nice. It's crazy to me. It's kind of like this... Oh, you know what? What? So we always like talk about what the future holds and we watch all these movies growing up about the future. Mm -hmm. Things like this, if it's man-made or not, things like this is causing us to bring those visions to life. Like, I mean, look, now we're only doing Zoom. Right. You know, teachers are talking to their students on Zoom. Um... People are doing interviews on Zoom. A lot of people are working from home. Right. Just on the computer, laptop, whatever. Right. Um, you can order online for your groceries. Someone comes and just delivers it. You don't even have to leave your house. Like, right. All of this is causing us to depend on technology now. For sure. And it's going to get to the point where we're literally doing everything. Like, I don't know what movies are out there, but some of them are showing like people are even going to another reality another world they just put on their little AI, like yeah goggles the little whatever. goggles and they feel like they're in another world right. another dimension and actually like feeling like having all the senses right this man and not even leaving their living room yeah it's gonna be pretty wild so I like mean, do you ever think it's gonna get to that point one day i'm sure this is helping expedite it i mean i think the next biggest thing we're gonna have to worry about is uh computer hacking and stuff like that. I mean, now that everything's on computers, 
I mean, that's going to be the next thing, mm. you know, hackers and stuff like that, cyber mm. warfare, cyber threats, like, that's the next biggest so, thing I've been hearing about. Now. We've literally pushed everything to the But now to, all that cyber security, like, all those people that work for that oh, are yeah. in need now. You know, there's got to be something more to this than we know. I mean, here again, for our economies and stuff to shut down, there's something about the coronavirus we really don't understand. Somebody knows something. Mm -hmm. Think about this, guys. The federal government has mandated all hospitals to now start putting the COVID information that they're taking into a third-party system and not run it through the CDC. Hmm. Why would your government not want you to put the information into the CDC? Why would we do that? Why would we put it and give it to a third-party institute that's probably ran by the federal government? I wonder why. We want to start the economy back up, probably. We don't want the real numbers out there. We don't want to know how many of you guys knew that on Thursday, I believe, Thursday was the highest uptick we've ever had of COVID positive cases. 70,000 people. 70,000. How many people know that? See, without the CDC being on top of that, what's going to happen? I think the U.S. has like um, over 3 million cases. I'm interested to see who's... uh going to be the first person who comes up so that's what they were hacking they were hacking into i think it was the canadian health database but they hacked in because they were trying to get the uh the covid information so now all these doctors and stuff and scientists are working from home and you know their all their information is like on the internet now or in their computer mm -hmm. and now they're calling the covid race the antibiotic and you know, trying to find the cure or vaccine to COVID. It's the new space race, guys. Every single place is working on it. The greatest minds in the world are trying to figure out how we can make a vaccine for COVID. So who's going to be the first? I'm interested to see. Thank you so much for watching our car bong. This is Justin's first car bong. Woohoo! Did I do it? Did I bong it? Did I bang it? <laughs> Love you guys. All right. All right. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Um, so you can be part of the Brown family and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads in the future. And if you really enjoyed this car bung and you want to see more of Justin, give us a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye guys. More of me. <laughs> yeah, more of you.